Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm excited to show you the two new features we've included in Oxygen 2.3. The first is the modal element, which allows you to create modal windows or pop-ups right inside of Oxygen. We've also added the user design library feature, which allows you to designate any Oxygen site as a design set and then use that design set on other Oxygen sites. To get started, let's take a look at the modal element. So let's go to Pages, Home, and Edit with Oxygen. So we have a simple home page that's already been set up, and I'm going to add a modal to this home page to show you how the new feature works. So we can click Add and either search for modal, or you can find it under Helpers in the Interactive subsection. Let's add a modal. The modal will appear in line with the other elements on our page and is comprised of two areas. One is the backdrop, which is a transparent overlay, and one is the content area where you can insert any oxygen elements to design your modal. For this example, we're going to insert some content from the design library. So let's go to Add, Library, Design Sets, and let's grab something from the conference set. Let's do a contact section. Perfect. Now that we have some content in our modal, we can decide how we want the modal to behave. So click the backdrop, and in the left hand side in the properties pane, we have in editor behavior, which determines how the modal appears while you're editing a page with a modal on it. We can choose inline, live preview, or hidden. We also have triggers. Triggers determine when and why the modal appears. There are many different triggers, like after a set number of clicks, after a number of page views, after a number of seconds inactive, on exit intent, or when user clicks an element. For example, if we want this contact modal to pop up when the user clicks an element, we can use user clicks element, click the choose button, and then find the element that we would like to have trigger the modal, like this button. The selector for that button is put into the field, and now if we click that element, it will launch the modal. Let's take a look on the front end. Let's scroll down to the button, click the button, and now our pop-up comes right up. Let's jump back into the builder and take a look at some of the other options. We also have content styles, which should be familiar if you've worked with Oxygen. It allows you to determine the layout of the elements in the modal, as well as the text color and background color. Next is modal styles. This allows you to determine the width of the modal, the backdrop color, and the position of the modal. The modal element can be used for some really cool off-canvas effects. And if you're making something, for example, like a slide-in menu, this modal position setting comes in very handy. Finally, we have the closing options. We can choose to close the modal automatically after a number of seconds. By default, this is set to no. We can allow the modal to close when the escape key is pressed. By default, this is set to yes. We can set the modal to close when the backdrop is clicked. By default, it's set to yes. And we can also insert a close button. When we click Insert Close button, it creates a button inside the modal content area. And the only thing special about this button is that it has the oxy-close-modal class. We can add that class to any element in the modal. And when that element is clicked, the modal will be closed. We also have the option to close the modal with a JavaScript function for advanced users who want to trigger the close of the modal in their own custom code. And there is a code snippet available. One important note with the modal element is that you can use it in conjunction with our Animate on Scroll integration. So let's go to Advanced, Effects, Animate on Scroll, and Enable Animation. This will cause the modal to animate in instead of simply appearing or fading in. This allows you to create some really cool eye-catching effects for your modals and pop-ups. So that's the modal element. Now let's take a look at the User Design Library feature. Let's jump back to the WordPress Admin panel. And under Oxygen, Settings, we'll find a new library tab. The first checkbox, Enable Default Design Sets, which is enabled by default, enables the design sets that are shipped with Oxygen, like Atomic, Conference, and Flight School. The second checkbox allows you to install third-party design sets. 
Let's check that box, click update. Now, if we had a site key from a third party design set, we'd simply click add design set, paste the site key in, and click add source site. Now, to make this oxygen site into a design set, we simply need to check make this WordPress install a design set and click update. Now we're given the site key, which is what's used to install this design set on other Oxygen sites. We have some screenshot options and some instructions. And now that this site is a design set, we also have the block library under the Oxygen menu. So let's click into that. Blocks are a special post type that are treated as a single element in the library. They're also always included in the library. So this block, for example, if we edit it with Oxygen, contains a pricing box element. But we're not only restricted to using blocks when working with the user design library feature, we can also include elements from pages and templates. So let's jump back to our home page. Pages, home, and when the user design library feature is enabled, you'll see the new Oxygen Design Set Options meta box when editing pages and templates. And these give you options like include this page in the default setup, include the sections in this page in the library, and include this entire page in the library. These allow you to determine if this page and its sections are included in the library and exactly how they're available. So once a page is set to include the sections in this page in the library, we can edit with Oxygen, and we can pick any of the sections on this page and include them in the library under our specified category. So we'll select the top hero section, go to structure, and use the hamburger menu on any of the sections to categorize that section in the library. This, for example, would be under heroes and titles. Once we've categorized an element, it's shown with a golden background color, and that indicates that it's going to be included under a category rather than uncategorized. Now, let's connect this design set with another Oxygen install and import the design element that we just created. So first, I'll fire up a demo site, and then we'll jump back into the admin panel of our design set site and grab the site key. To do that, we go to Oxygen, Settings, Library, and copy the site key. Now on our target site, we go to Oxygen, Settings, Library, and enable third-party design sets. Click Add Design Set, and paste in the site key. Click Add Source Site, and now my design set has been registered. So to import the design element that we just created, we can jump into any page or template and edit it with Oxygen. Then we go to Add, Library, Design Sets, find the name of our design set, in this case, My Design Set, click it, go to Sections and Elements, and in this case, we created the Hero with BG image element. Let's click that to insert it, and it's that simple. That's how easy it is to create design sets and import elements from your design sets on other sites using the User Design Library feature in Oxygen 2.3. Now we're also including three new design sets of our own. First is Music Teacher. Music Teacher is geared towards online courses and contains a lot of really cool, stylish elements to help you build an incredible course site. Next is Hosting. Hosting is more of a high-tech design set geared towards online services or products. It would be great for a software company or a software as a service company. Finally, we have Brewery which has a lot of character and extensively utilizes our Animate on Scroll library integration. As you can see, we scroll down and most of the elements animate in. For a complete change log for Oxygen 2.3, check our blog because we do have a lot of other tweaks and bug fixes that were included in this version of Oxygen.
As always, we want to thank everyone who helped us test our Alpha, Beta, and RC versions of Oxygen 2.3. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and this has been a brief overview of the new features in Oxygen 2.3. Thank you for watching.